Santo managed to put his leg over the front thing in the trailer and he managed to get like a burn wound on his leg. So now we gotta treat it. Okay, we're boiling this towel in salt water so that it will be like sterile or whatever it's called, like clean. So we can put it on his wound. And it's gonna do like pull out the infected stuff and the yellow stuff and make it clean. We're at the store now and my dad's going to get antibiotics, which was sent in the mail, so it arrived in the store. Hi! You can see on his leg already that it's all pink because they had to shave it. And I took off the full neck on his rug yesterday because I didn't thought it would rain. But now it rains and now he's wet. Oh poor guy. And he's, he loves to roll. He's always dirty. But anyway, the wound. This is how it looks. You can see that it's yellow. And he said it's like discharge from the wound that turns yellow. So that's what the towel is for, to like pull it out and take it away. So I'm gonna take the towel out of this little plastic bag. There's only one. I did it with this. And put it on his leg. This is quite warm. And I just wrap around it with this wrap. This is just to keep it in place, like the bandage doesn't have like, any, it's not necessary, it's just, it's a bit hard for the towel to stay in place. And this bandage is really loose, like really loose, it's really just to keep it in place. So now I wrapped it around his leg, and now he's gonna be standing with that for like half an hour when I do all the other stuff. This is his feet. I made it ready yesterday because it's good. It's beet pulp, so it soaks in water. And he only gets beet pulp now because he's not in that much work. So now I'm going to remove the bandage. You can see at the towel that is full of the yellow stuff that was on the wound. But now the wound is like clean. And the yellow stuff is on the towel. So then I just wipe it softly without hurting him. If there are like any leftovers of the discharge from the wound. So it's not really a wound, it's more like a burn wound. Yeah. And now I'm gonna take him for a walk and it's gonna get some air. Now we're out for a walk and I have the lead rope over his nose because I'm not really a fan of stud chains. But he's not always the nicest horse to walk if you see something scary. So I just kept his ramble blanket on because it's kind of cold and windy. And he looks like he's so hairy. He's not really that hairy. He's just a little bit wet. And then he looks very hairy. So I'm going to walk him for 20 minutes now. And we just walk on the concrete here. Yeah. So this thing here is called bosomycin. And it's like to prevent inflammation and infections. So the wound really does not look that bad. You can see it's just the skin peel off. So I'm going to take on this tape a bit on my finger. Then I... Take it on the spoon. Today is his last day on antibiotics and it's healing pretty well. His leg is not swollen anymore and he's not lame. So hopefully I can ride him again tomorrow when he's done with antibiotics because today he was completely crazy to walk. Like he's just jumping around and squeaking and just like, I don't know, He I think he really wants to be worked again. So. Hopefully I can ride him tomorrow. I have to put on his neck cover again just to make myself feel better. And then we just have the oral antibiotics left. Which looks like I can't focus. And it goes into his mouth and my dad has to give it to him because he's too tall for me. Oh, he's not very happy. I've got on for coming up. Um. I'm just gonna give him a little handful of hay to make up for the fact that I was abusing him with the medicine. Yeah, no, no. Bye!